This past Sunday, we wrapped up our series at all three locations, Take It to the Bank. And if you weren't able to make it for any of our services, it was a series essentially about God's promises. When God says something, we can take that to the bank. We can know that it is true. Sometimes, though, God says things, and we misinterpret what he's saying. We think he's saying something that he actually isn't saying. For instance, this is one of the most misunderstood, misapplied verses in all of Scripture. I just want to read it to you. This is found in Jeremiah 29, 11. And I see this on people's social media timelines all the time. People love to post this verse. But here's what this verse says. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Now, I think when people post this, when people read this, they assume that God is saying, hey, look, I'm never going to let bad stuff happen to you. As long as you follow me, life will be good. But that's not at all what he's saying. In fact, if you read the 10 verses before this one, you would find out that Jeremiah has just told his people that God is going to bring judgment on them, that the, the children uh, of Israel here, the Jewish people, are going to be in captivity. The Babylonians are going to come in and capture them, but it's okay. This is all a part of God's plan. But I think sometimes when we read something like this, God has plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. We think that that means life is going to be perfect, what we want it. But in their case, God's saying, no, no, no. I'm sending you in Babylonian captivity where you don't want to be, but that's a part of my plan. And you may, it may feel like I'm harming you, but I promise you, you're going to thrive in captivity. You're going to be more blessed than you could ever imagine. So sometimes we just need to be careful when we read scripture. Context is key. Let's make sure we read all of it and don't just assume something is true because, well, this one verse says this. No, sometimes God puts us in situations that we don't want to be in. But where we are is where God wants us, no matter how we feel or what we think. And that's what we need to hold on to, that God is sovereign, he's in control, and what he does is always best.